Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So we're going to tap into what's going on with you guys currently when it comes to love. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. For those of you that have been waiting on the zodiac signs to be posted, be on the lookout for those. I started a detox and it's been kind of hard on my body, um, so... I'll be posting those as soon as possible. Just be on the lookout. Also, I'm looking at the clock and it's 555. So for some of you, it may be beneficial for you to look up the angel number 555. I really feel as though there's some very um, positive life-changing things that's coming into your life. And whatever is coming in, it's going to change your life for the better. Okay. For some of you, there may be conflict with someone, but definitely... Um, Take the time to research angel number 555 because that may be beneficial to you in regards to whatever you're going through. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for what's going on currently when it comes to love, we have energetically holding on to you, never letting go or never letting you go. We also have we're repeating a lifetime together, past life karma, deja vu. And we have an energetic message to you from someone's energy. It's an important message that they want you to know. And we have the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So there's a lot going on here. This is someone that you have dealt with that is energetically holding on to you. So for those of you that are wanting new to come into your life or you're only wanting to hear about new, unfortunately, there is someone that is energetically or spiritually holding on to you they're stating they're never going to let you go okay so that's why past people keep popping up in your readings because they are holding on to you energetically this is someone that you had a past life with the two of you have a very very strong connection and so um yeah that's why this person feels so deeply connected to you they're stating the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So they may have gotten involved with someone else after the two of you went through some type of breakup or separation. And the grass wasn't greener with whoever else they got involved with. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of things going on here. But we're going to see what else comes out. I'm going to be using the Mystic Goddess Confession Stack. And I'm also going to be using Mystic Beauty's um, Truth Oracle. I will put a link to both of these decks in the description box below just in case any of you are interested in getting these cards all right so let's see what else comes out here i hope that all of you have been having an amazing week all right so we have a yes i'm in love no rush and we have hidden i do apologize guys my camera cut out and it cut out it cut out right as i was saying yes i'm in love with you no rush Okay, so it lets me know that this person, they don't want you to know that they're in love with you. Okay, there's a lot of hidden emotions here. This person has deeper feelings than they're showing. Okay, I also feel like this person is aware that they keep hurting you. They're aware that they have disappointed you in the past, but this person is in love with you. But I feel as though they were taking their sweet time when it came to giving you whatever it is that you feel as though you deserve. Okay. They took their time with you because they felt like you will always be there. And it seems as though that's not the case. And they're realizing that. So yeah, a lot of hidden, hidden feelings here. This person is still in love with you. Ooh, the, almost the whole deck wanted to come out. All right, but this card flipped over and it is F buddies or fuck buddies. Excuse me for cursing, okay? So someone may have made you feel as though they only wanted to have you as, um, as a friend with benefits or a sneaky link, okay? Hmm. You may have felt that way in the past. For some of you, this person may be dealing with others sexually. This is definitely someone that you have dealt with before. I feel like this is not a new person. Give me more. Oh, we have one that flipped over. Keep it on the low. Wow. And I was just saying, thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. I was just saying that for some of you, um, this person, like, they're keeping their feelings on the low when it comes to you. All right. They're keeping their feelings on the low. For some of you, they may have wanted to keep you a secret. For some of you, they have fuck buddies and they try to keep it on the low. So whoever else they've been involved with or whoever else they've been dealing with on sexual levels, they don't want anything serious with that other person. 
okay they don't want anything serious give me more holy spirit with what's going on currently thank you so we have major spiritual lessons and we also have self-pleasuring myself while thinking of you wow okay at the bottom of the deck there is sexual punishment you've been acting up <laughs> all right so for some of you this person feels as though you have them on sexual punishment i feel like for some of you this person is someone that you have not been sexual with if you have not as of lately you've stopped having sexual encounters with them or you haven't been giving them your all if you are having sex with them currently. But this person is learning a major spiritual lesson right now that is teaching them. It's showing whatever they're going through on a spiritual level. It is giving them clarity in regards to how in love with you they are. It's also giving them clarity that they shouldn't have took their time with you. Because I feel like this person thought that you will always be there. And of course, they're pleasuring their self while thinking of you. Okay. Wow. So yeah, for some of you, this person, they play with themselves. <laughs> okay. While all while thinking of you. I feel like for some of you, if they are intimate with others, they think about you while they're intimate with that other person. They may even act as so that other person is you. They may pretend like they're dealing with you when they're really not for some. Do you ever think of me? All right. So this person is wondering if you ever think of them. Okay. And I feel like that's because they think about you a lot. They think about you a lot. They especially want to, they're especially wondering if you think of them on a sexual level. Okay. We have three that came out. We both know this is wrong. So there's someone that they've been keeping things on the low with. And they know that they shouldn't be involved with that person. It could be a karmic for some of you. And so that's why they keep it on the low. So this person may be having sex with someone that already is dealing with someone else. Okay. And like I told you guys, this is not coming off as someone that's new. If some of you are dealing with someone new, this is someone that you've already dealt with. Okay, but yeah, they're keeping some type of sexual encounter on the low. Looks like they're having sex with someone that they're not supposed to be having sex with. And they know that it's wrong. One day you're going to be my wife or husband. So for a lot of you, this person is saying that one day they're going to marry you. Don't leave me. I want fine better than you. So it's almost like they were trying to save the best for last. That's why this person wasn't rushing. All right, but they don't want you to completely leave them alone because they know they're not going to find anyone else better than you. How can you replace an emperor or an empress? Like, that's ridiculous. You can't replace an emperor or an empress. Okay, you can't. And they're realizing that. Falling in love again is scary. So this person is afraid of love. For some of you, they text things to you or they may try to reach out to you and then they'll hold back so they may text the message and erase it or they may dial out your number or pull your number up in their call log in order to reach out to you but then they'll back out okay and this person is afraid i feel like that's why they um came off as distant at times it's almost like every time they would start falling deeply in love with you they would back off and it's because they're afraid this is someone that's been hurt in the past and it's like they're trying to they're making they have made you pay for things that other people did to them which is not right give me more holy spirit but yeah so if i just did a reading okay where i saw that someone from your past was holding on to you on an energetic level and i was saying in that reading and i would encourage you guys to watch it it should be posted right before this reading okay but i was saying that for some of you like you may be triggered by thoughts of the past like all of a sudden you may start thinking about like a past person and you may not even know why and it's because they they're holding on to you you're feeling their energy that's what i was saying so mystic beauty's cards they clarified that that's amazing it her cards clarify that this person is holding on to you energetically they're also saying that you make them feel alive so there's something about you that um is very different from anything that this person has ever experienced i feel like they're used to toxicity they're used to toxic love and so when they when you came into this person's life 
they felt as though they didn't deserve you. They're not used to anyone loving them genuinely. And so they sabotage it. Give me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. I'm not looking for your replacement. Okay. So for some of you, this person is saying, hey, I'm just looking for F buddies. I'm just looking for people to have sex with. I'm not looking for no one to replace you because I know I won't find better than you. Okay, so this person knows that you are a divine feminine or divine masculine. They're also saying it's not easy pretending that they don't want you. So it's not easy for this person to pretend as though um, they don't want anything to do with you or to come off as nonchalant. It's not easy for them to do that. Inside, it's killing them. Okay, inside, they're beating themselves up. They're very much bothered. Give me one more card, Holy Spirit. But they definitely got involved with someone else. And the grass wasn't greener there. All right. Three-way love affair. My, I'm about to end the reading, right? Oh, I'm about to end the reading. <laughs> I'm about to just slide back and just end the reading right now. Didn't I just say, thank you for the confirmation because it's all spirit. It's not me. I'm just a messenger. But I love when my guys clarify what I'm saying. I was just saying they got involved with someone else and three-way love affair came out. Okay. Oh my goodness. They, we have at the bottom of the deck, my friends gonna judge me. So this lets me know that this person, they're easily influenced by their friends. Their friends encourage them to be a cheater, to deal with multiple people at one time. So this person may want to be in a serious relationship with you, but they're afraid that they'll come off like a simp. Okay, they're afraid that they'll come off like, um, you know, like, like they're whipped. That's sad. This person needs to grow some balls. Excuse me for cursing. I also feel like their friends encourage them to just use people for their money or try to get what they can out of people. Hmm. My goodness. All right. So again, that is Mystic Beauty's Truth Oracle. A um, I will put a link to her cards. In the description box, just in case you guys want to get them. These cards are bomb, okay? I love them as well as Mystic Beauty. Like, I love her as well. She is a phenomenal reader. All right, so we're going to move on to the Mystic Goddess Confessions deck and see what comes out in regards to this. Give me more Holy Spirit with what's going on currently. What's going on currently, Holy Spirit? All right, look, third party is watching, stalking, or spying. So for some of you, there's a third party that is watching, stalking, or spying. The third party may feel as though this person is still dealing with you if they know about you. For others of you, the third party, whoever they've been dealing with, where the grass wasn't greener on the other side, that third party is stalking, spying, or watching this person. They're trying to, they're also, they may be researching, trying to figure out like who you are. They know that there's someone else that this person is in love with. Okay. And they're trying to figure out or find out information about you. Mm. Give me more Holy Spirit. What else? Thank you. So we have entertaining other options, giving attention to others. And that came out in reverse. So that makes a lot of sense for some of you. Like I said, this person is saying that they're not out looking for your replacement and entertaining other options came out in reverse. So it lets me know that even though this person is entertaining, they may be entertaining other options. They're not taking these other options seriously. Okay. Now for some of you, I feel like they're going to end up they're going to stop entertaining other options, okay? And it's almost like they're going to give up on trying to find anyone to replace you or they're going to give up giving attention to others. I also feel like whoever they've been dealing with, this third party, they're not giving that third party their attention anymore, okay? It's like they're not focused on that third party. Hmm... I also feel like this person has told people that you're the GOAT, you're the greatest of them all, and that no one else compares to you. So they've actually talked or discussed you with other people, and they have told other people that you're that no one else compares to you. They've told other people that. Wow. Okay. Give me more, Holy Spirit. What else? Wow. I want you all to myself. So this is a direct message to you from this person's energy. It's an important message that you need to know. So this person wants you all to themselves. They do not want you entertaining anyone else. Okay. They don't. Give me more Holy Spirit. What else? 
All right, so we have breakup, separation, ending of a relationship, marriage, etc. So that came out in reverse. So it lets me know that this person, they don't want to be in separation from you. They don't want, um, if the two of you did break up or if you're isolating from each other, if you're not dealing with each other currently, they don't want to be separated from you. They want to reconcile. For some of you, they feel as though you are the one that they want to marry. They've been thinking about proposing marriage and it's all because they feel as so you're the only one that they want to spend the rest of their life with. But you guys look at this person as being full of lies, very deceptive, very dishonest, okay? Hmm. For some of you, this person may have a bad temper. Give me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Lust, passion, deep physical or sexual attraction or desire. So this person is very deeply attracted to you on a physical level. I also feel as though this person has fake friends or family members that influence them to be lustful. Okay. That's sad. That's really sad. Give me more Holy Spirit. So we have soulmate. This person feels as though you are their soulmate, okay? So they know that no one else compares to you, all right? For some of you, they've dealt with some type of sneaky link, uh, a secret lover, and that secret lover thinks that this person is their soulmate. Give me more. Thank you. Karma, reaping what one has sown, okay? So this person is going through some type of karma right now. I feel as though their lies are catching up to them. Whatever they were dishonest about, whatever they've been deceptive about, they're reaping karma because of that, okay? Give me more. Thank you. Workaholic, focus on making money. So for some of you, right now, currently, at the time that you watch this reading, this person may not be entertaining anyone else. They may be focused on work. Okay, they're focused on making their money. They may be going through financial issues. Okay, give me more. What else, spirit? So we have bad temper. Thank you for the confirmation, spirit. I was just saying that for some of you, this person has a bad temper. All right, and it's mainly stemming from them wanting you all to themselves. Like the thought of you entertaining anyone else, being with anyone else, even talking to anyone else, it pisses this person off. They don't want anyone else to have you. For some of you, they've been trying to make you jealous. This is another direct message to you from this person's energy. So they do things to try to piss you off all because they're pissed off. Because they think that someone else may have snatched you up. All right. Mm, 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 mm. So, yeah, this person, um, the thought of you being with anyone else pisses them off. Give me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. So we have making contact, expect an incoming call, text, or email. That did come out in reverse. So for some of you, this person wants to reach out to you, but they may be holding back. From For others of you, they may be waiting for you to make contact with them, okay? They want to talk to you. See, this came out under breakup, separation, which came out in reverse, okay? Both of these cards came out in reverse. So it lets me know that when it comes to this person, they want to make contact to let you know that the two of you, like they want the two of you to be back together. They don't want to be apart from you, but it's like they're hesitating doing that. So even if they reach out to you, they may keep it on a very platonic um, level. Okay, they may come at you like, hey, how, how have you been? They may not even talk about reconciling when in reality they really want to. They may be trying to see if you are going to say something about reconciling first. Okay, and it's all because they feel as though you are their true love. Okay, for some of you, someone may have worked spell work on this person. Okay. And it's someone that's very jealous or envious of the connection that the two of you have, or they may be jealous or envious of this person thinking that they're talking to others. They feel as though this person is hiding secrets. So for some of you, if you suspect that there's spell work being done or root work or any type of magical practice where energy is being manipulated, this is your confirmation. And someone, the person that's doing it is someone that's jealous or envious, okay? All right, give me another card, Holy Spirit, with what's going on currently. What's going on currently, Holy Spirit? Okay, look, I love you. 
This is another direct message to you from this person's energy. So they're stating that they love you, but right now they may be dealing with some type of family issue and or drama. Okay. They may be dealing with some type of family issue right now, but they're saying that they love you. So they're very lustful when it comes to you. They're very attracted to you on a sexual level. And on a physical level, but that's not all they want. They actually really do love you. Okay. And for this card to come out and there's 80 cards in this deck. So for this card to come out, they love you. They may not act like it, but they love you. For some of you, like they love you, but they don't tell you or, you know, they don't express it the way they act, the things they say, you wouldn't think that they love you, but they really do. Give me one more message, Holy Spirit, with what's going on currently. Thank you. So we have control freak, wanting full control of you and everything that you do. So for some of you, this person has told other people that you are a control freak. Either they have told people that and that doesn't make it true, okay? Because this is the rumors or gossip card discussing, talking, or discussing information that may or may not be true. So they may have told people that you are a control freak. For others of you, they have told people, they have told people that they want full control of you. Okay. And it's because you're the GOAT. No one else compares to you. They have told people that you're the GOAT. I'm telling you. They have told people that no one else compares to you. They've discussed it with people. Okay. It's almost like they've told people like, I'm not letting um, this person go anywhere, okay? I'm not letting them go anywhere. They think that it's over. It's not over. So I'm telling you now, those of you that think that, you know, in this person's mind, you're not going anywhere in their mind, okay? Now, it's up to you if you decide that you want to indulge with this person. It's completely up to you. The cards are just as a guide, okay? But when it comes to this person... We have two in love cards here confirming that this person is in love with you. Okay. We have two of them here. So they're deeply in love with you, very deeply in love with you. But this person, like they like to control the narrative. They like to control the narrative. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. Um, if you resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.